The hype just doesn't end for Scarlet Violet. What's up, little pups? Today, we're going to be talking about um, the Terrestrial Festival set. So it's going to be featuring the Eevees. Like, certainly, a lot of people make the comparison like Eevee Heroes or uh, Evolving Skies Evolutions. And uh, I was already hyped for Surging Sparks. I mean, Surging Sparks is coming out in like a month. And I just cannot stop thinking about that lovely set. We haven't even had half of it revealed. And then, and then I stop for a moment. And then I think, holy... The amount of incredible sets that are about to come is going to be in like incredible, honestly. So anyways, yes, the Terrestrial Festival, the Japanese name for the Eevee Hero set that we're going to get is uh, leaked and it's going to be released on January 17th. So the, J the Japanese version of the Eevee Hero set is going to release in December 6th. So it's going to be a whole month before. And the last set we had around the December or January time was the Shiny Treasures EX, or that's the Japanese version of Paldean Fates. So the quickest comparisons I can make Paldean Fates and this new Eevee Heroes set is that um, Paldean Fates, I can say, had eight special illustration rares. Now, why the special illustration rares? Why am I talking about special illustration rares? Special illustration rares, if you didn't know, are the highest rarity of a card in the Scar Violet eras. Actually, not really the rarest cards. I believe the gold cards are rare, but these are the ones that are most appreciated. And people do not appreciate the gold cards as much as the special illustration rares. So the question that everyone makes is... Um, so what's so, like, it, you know, is it going to be the same as Evolving Skies? Are we going to get a special illustration rare for each and every evolution? Of course, that is yet to be said. That is yet to be found out. But if we make comparisons to other 0.5 sets, because this set is actually in the Scarlet Violet 8.5. So Surging Sparks would be the 8th set this is the 8.5 because this is a special half set so if we compare this 0.5 to the other 0.5s in scarlet violet we're gonna start off with the 151 which came after volume skies so it is scarlet violet 3.5 and uh this lovely set had the 151 set had a total of two three four five five special illustration rares next up was paldean fates with eight and then shrouded fable with Four. So, honestly, the most, uh, the most we can probably expect, I mean, the least or the most, well, <laughs> on average, I guess, uh, we would hope to at least get eight special illustration rares at the very least. How many evolutions are there? Well, there's Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, Espeon, Umbreon, uh, Glaceon, Leafeon, and Sylveon. Now it's four uh, plus four, eight. There's eight. So <laughs> at the very least, we maybe could expect hopefully to get eight special illustration rares, one for each, just like if always guys did, did for us. But the, the thing is that this set is apparently not the only thing that this special set is going to have. The evolutions are not the only thing. This half special evolution set is also going to include legendary Pokemon. This set will also include some legendary Pokemon that apparently are paired with another Pokemon from the same generation. All right, so the examples they give here that are already going to come out in Japan like a month before Terrestrial Festival are the are is a Pikachu EX and Snorlax EX. That's the first pair. Lugia EX and Tarantar EX, Kyogre EX and Blaziken EX, Dialga EX and Lucario EX, Reshiram EX and Amoongus, Xerneas EX and Noivern, Tapu Koko and Mimikyu, Zacian, Alcrevy and Coridon, and Paldean Clodzire. So those are all the EXs that we could maybe expect in the this new evolution set. Uh, those are very cool. I would I'm especially hyped for the Kyogre and the Blaziken EX. That sounds dope. I I'm just a huge fan of Gen 3, honestly. And the reason why Pikachu and Snorlax in the front were well, they count Pikachu as a legendary. I mean, at this point, it, you just gotta put Ash's Pikachu. That's the only legendary Pikachu. But I guess they're all whatever. They're all legendaries. So now we have a bunch of legendaries. We have the eight evolutions that are all going to be terrestrialized. So the question is, how many are gonna get special illustration rares? Well, this could be interesting because the EXs that I just mentioned are coming in starter decks so i don't believe if it's going to come out of a starter deck that they're gonna come out out of a set a main set 
unless the terrestrial festival set in japanese has a special illustration rare versions of these so for right now for what we have i would guess that these legendary pokemon are not going to get a special illustration rare unless of course they come out in the main terrestrial festival japanese set because these are coming out of starter decks so uh i guess the table you know the, the it's still open for the evolutions to get the all the special illustration rares that they need because you know paladin fates had eight special illustration rares this could also have eight to perfectly match the terrestrial festival vibes uh this is just a special half set so this is not a main set main sets are the ones that have the most special illustration rares and most cards in general let's just remember that this is not the only craziness that's going to come out so after surging sparks which is coming in november we're going to have this eevee hero set then we're going to have the battle partners in japanese and the glory of team rocket set as well afterwards well the thing is that we're probably going to get one main set for the gym heroes because the separation between the battle partners, which is coming out on January 24th, the Japanese, remember Japanese, and the glory of Team Rock, which is coming in March, is very far apart. So I would imagine that we're going to get a one set Japanese into the one set for the English side. So the, the battle partners, the cards in battle partners should come apart from the glory of team rocket set unless unless actually no unless they we get the glory of team rocket set at the same time that um the english side releases kind of like what happened with paradox rift where ancient roar and Fla future flash with two of the sets com uh, you know compromised of that english set uh they came out the same time as paradox rift so i wonder if that's the case but uh, we're also expecting the black and white set, which I'm a huge fan of because I would love to see an, an SAR, uh, Reshiram, Zekrom, a black Kyurem, which we didn't get. Honestly, we're probably not going to get a black Kyurem. A white Kyurem, I mean, a black Kyurem is cooler, but I mean, a white Kyurem, you know, it, it could go crazy. And let's not forget that Pokemon Legends ZA is also going to release in 2025. So these are sets that are coming before the possibly craziest sets of Scarlet Violet. So Pokemon likes to go really crazy with the last sets of Scarlet Violet. For example, Sun and Moon, they did Team Up, Unbroken Bonds, Unified Minds, Cosmic Eclipse, those last four before uh, the last set, which was in Fates. And then in Sword and Shield, they did uh, Brilliant Stars, Astro Radiance, Silver Tempest, and Lost Origin, which were the sets that included the Trainer Gallery cards right before Crown Zenith. So there's so much incredible stuff to come out for Scarlet Violet. We may have started a bit slow and then 151, I don't know, honestly, 151 was just so crazy. It's still crazy. It, it's still crazy. But the craziness has just started, honestly. And Surging Sparks was one that I did not anticipate. And I believe it's going to be incredibly hyped. And I, I'm sure they're not going to fumble the Pikachu. And I'm sure the Pikachu is going to be one of the biggest cards in Scarlet Violet for sure. So anyways, guys, what do you guys think about any, all of this news? Are you guys hyped for the new Evolution set? Um, surely you are, of course. And yeah, let's hope it's anything close to the Eevee Heroes or Evolving Skies set in Sword and Shield. Anyways, little pups. Say whatever you want, and let's go on to the next news.